Hi, Saul Klein, National Association of Realtors Mid-Year Meeting in Washington, D.C., and I'm here with Mimi Doe of Yelp. Now, this is great because everybody knows Yelp. Everybody's seen Yelp. Everybody talks about the ratings that they get on Yelp. Realtors, we know, are often afraid of ratings, but you can't stop them, particularly if they're going to Yelp, and we were surprised to see Yelp here, pleasantly surprised. Oh, so, that's great. Yeah, Mimi, tell us about you know Yelp and about mm -hmm. how you're seeing realtors use it and what the benefits to them and the benefits to consumers might be. Sure, well, so first of all, I wanna say I'm really excited to hear you say that you think that everyone knows Yelp. Um, but, you know, it's really interesting. I know that being here in DC, I was very surprised to hear that there were a lot of realtors here that didn't know what Yelp was. Um, but that's what I'm here for. I'm actually the local Were business. Were they hiding under a rock or something? Hey, I don't know, <laughs> but you know, nowadays you can find realtors obviously on every single type of advertising platform, which is really great because personally, if I needed to buy a home or rent a home, I wouldn't know where to start. So I need them to be everywhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I am the local business partner here in Washington, D.C. Um, my whole job is to educate, in this case, realtors to know about the free tools and resources that are available on Yelp because a lot of misconceptions that realtors will have about Yelp is that it's a pay-to-play site. Um, and the main thing is that really we're just like an online business database and you can find almost anything about a realtor as long as whether somebody who really knows them really well wants to add information on there about them or if it's a real estate agent trying to be proactive and adding their own information so you on you have there. Tool, what kind of tools other than just Yelp itself? Do yeah. You have stuff that's designed for the real estate industry? So we have, it's pretty much all encompassing for any type of business. Okay. So as a real estate agent, the number one thing that I recommend as a real estate agent you should do is figure out your type of target demographic and I'm talking about the type of clients that you want. For example, are you looking for more buyers or sellers? Are you a property management company that's looking for you know more properties to manage? Whatever it may be, you want to make sure your photos are going to represent that, your specialty section, which you can freeform text whatever you would like on there to make sure that you hit those keywords. And also, it might sound silly, but business hours matter too. So things like that, you can update all of your information for free, but I highly, highly recommend the number one thing because I know that a lot of people are searching for their homes first. If they happen to land onto your page and they see the type of active listings that you have, if you're looking for buyers or if you're looking for sellers, your type of portfolio that you've sold in so the this past. This is real interesting because I didn't know this. So you're telling me that there's like a profile section yes. on Yelp. And if you're a realtor, you can go to Yelp and actually fill out the profile. And that actually makes sense because people can find yeah. you there instead of just going there and seeing nothing. And then you can actually put your listing and load your listings to that as well? Well, I take it that you've seen Yelp listings before. Like, have you ever used Yelp to find any type of business? No. What? No. Never to find a business. So, what? <laughs> not even to, like a I've restaurant? Gone to, I've gone to look up reputations, right? To look and see. Sure. The, but not, but I already knew the business or okay, the person yeah. that I was going to go look for. No, see, that's great. That's great. So there's, the, you fall into like one of two buckets, in my opinion, when it comes to the type of person hopping on a Yelp. The first person is going to be someone that doesn't have anyone in their back pocket to ask for a referral. So they're looking to the internet to find that information or that business. The second type is to validate a referral, yeah. right? Like, let's say, you recommended to me a real estate agent, and as much as I like you, Saul, I really want to do my own research sure, first, exactly. so I'll go on there and I'll check out their reputation. So Yelp is twofold in that way. You can look up a specific business, or you can look up some general words like real estate agent, realtor in XYZ city, and it'll show you a list, and you, as the consumer, get to decide who you want to hire to help you sell your home or buy a brand new home. So I think if people go to Yelp to look at people's reputations, it's got to help your reputation if you have a presence on Yelp. 100%, because otherwise, what's great is that Yelp has always been a consumer-driven site, so consumers are always adding information on Yelp, but that's only what's available to them. So if you have a friend that really likes to help you out and wants to add information for you as a real estate agent, that's great, but nothing is better than having the real estate agent themselves really representing their brand. Because more often than not, it's you'll have a brokerage, but now real estate agents are getting their own pages, which is great, because that's how they're generating their own leads. Do they have to pay for that, or is that a free profile? It's a free profile. The only thing that you pay for on Yelp is advertising, which is more exposure to your Yelp page. So if someone types in real estate agent, let's say in Los Angeles, and you want to make sure you show up for that search because it's a very competitive market. Advertising will help you increase the amount of eyeballs on your page who are in LA looking for a real estate Perfect. agent. Perfect. Well, maybe the show's almost over. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. I'm telling you. Was that okay? That's perfect.